Customize ThingsBoard with your brand with the white labeling feature found in ThingsBoard Professional Edition. Use ThingsBoard's web interface to add in your company or product logo and color scheme in two minutes with zero coding effort and no service restart. Here we have logged in as a tenant administrator and in system settings we'll open the white labeling configuration page. We'll start by changing the application title to company name. If we click preview, we can see that the title on the top of the window has changed. Now let's upload the website icon and we can see that the favicon icon updates as well. And after that, let's upload a custom logo and hit preview. You can adjust the height of the logo on the line below. As you can see, the custom logo now replaces the default things board logo. Let's save these changes. You can further customize ThingsBoard's user interface with your own corporate colors. A selection of common design colors are available from the pull-down menu, and you can select Preview to view your color choice. If you need something more specific, select Customize and cycle through the colors shown. Here we'll select Blue-Gray for the primary palette. Now let's select the accent color. Let's use light blue and see how this impacts different UI elements. Next, we will apply different branding for the customer account. Please note that by default, the white label configuration is inherited from the system to the tenant accounts and from the tenant to customer accounts. So if you apply a white labeling configuration on the tenant level, all customer accounts will use this configuration by default. Each customer may apply a different white labeling configuration as well. Let's review the steps required to rebrand your ThingsBoard customer account. Let's look up one of our customer user accounts and log in as a customer administrator. You may notice that the login screen uses the default color scheme. The login color scheme is changed with system level white labeling. Once we log in as a customer, we can see that the white labeling configuration is inherited from the tenant account settings. Let's change the application title, website icon, and logo. We can save the changes, validate that everything works as expected, and log in again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for new tutorials.